Today, it is already possible to find out whether the unborn child will have health problems. Some parents don't want to have a sick child and a burden, so they refuse it. This is a story about a girl named Hannah. When her mother found out that she would be a dwarf, she abandoned her and left her in an orphanage. Month after month passed, but no one wanted to take the poor child home. Finally, a couple of beautiful people, Jackie and Lurie, decided to adopt a baby. They weren't worried about her illness, they just wanted to give her a loving family. Jackie and Lurie knew that raising a sick child would not be easy, but that didn't put them off. While her peers grew up, she remained the same and she noticed it. This is a rather rare disease. Only 100 people are currently ill with it all over the world. Being different from everyone else is the hardest thing for a child and a teenager. At school, she had a hard time. Everyone looked at her and even teased her. In addition to her appearance, she had problems inside, namely heart disease and a brain aneurysm. Even at the age of 19, Hannah looked like she was five years old. At school, she liked one boy, but he told her that no one would ever date her. The poor girl was depressed. Fortunately, she had sisters who cared for her and spent time with her constantly. They also had to protect Hannah from bullying. They immediately stood up for their sister. Soon after, another problem came into the family. Hannah's mother was losing a kidney and urgently needed a donor. Hannah could not watch her mother suffer and decided to talk to the doctor in secret. She was curious if her kidney would fit mom. Although her kidney was suitable, the doctors dissuaded her from such a step because Hannah's body was already weak and without one kidney, it would have been even more difficult for her. Luckily for Jackie, a donor was soon found. Hannah also realizes that with her diagnosis, one does not live beyond 30 years, so she would like to live life to the fullest. She goes to dance, singing, and acting classes. Hannah also participated in many programs and even in one reality show called Little Ones in Search of Love. There she met her soulmate, a guy named Brad, who also suffered from this disease. Unfortunately, Brad had a heart attack shortly after and died. Hannah knows that the same can happen to her at any moment, so she lives every day with joy. She became an example for many who believe that society does not accept them. We wish Hannah health and a long life. Thank you so much for watching.